With the approach of summer and the expected rise in street violence, doctors at Strozier Hospital are bracing for an increase in gunshot victims and calling for national action on gun control. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has more. Orange was the favorite color of 15-year-old Hadia Pendleton, the Chicago teenager murdered in 2013. And on this Wear Orange weekend, organizers seek to highlight gun violence, although Strozier Hospital doctors say... I'm not sure how much more awareness is necessary since gun violence in the U.S. is obvious and deadly. Every year, Strozier treats around 1,000 gunshot victims. That's 20 to 25 trauma victims each day. But the daily victims increase... 30 to 40 percent in the summer, especially with the gunshot wounds and stabbings, which are most likely our more critical patients. Chicago police say in May, gun violence dropped for the 15th month in a row, with 52 fewer murders overall this year than in 2017. That's a 21 percent decline. And in Springfield, law Makers just passed bills licensing gun dealers and creating a 72 hour waiting period to purchase all firearms. Both now await Governor Rauner's signature. But the Stroger doctors say only national action can stop illegal guns from flowing here from other states. I would advocate for not accepting the status quo on the gun debate, as these weapons are efficient at killing and must be limited in civil society. According to the Justice Department and the ATF, Indiana is the source for the most guns trafficked into Illinois, with Missouri second and Wisconsin third. And of course, Erica, despite the string of school shootings that we've had over the years, uh, there has been no national action that's proven to be a very heavy lift. As far as track records go, Strozier Hospital has one for being quite outspoken about gun control, right? Well, yes, absolutely. They're a publicly funded hospital, and uh, they've been vocal about the need to do something to reduce gun violence and of course taxpayers are paying for the results of that in this medical care and other surrounding social ills that come from the gun violence. Okay, thank you Derek.